later today, the convention hall here in Philadelphia will be packed. The people coming here on a single mission to prevent foreclosures. These events are just one innovative way Treasury can reach borrowers to get them the help they need. But I hid from my mortgage company. I wouldn't respond to their letters. I wouldn't respond to their phone calls because I was scared. And they told me, don't ever, you know, this could have happened a long time ago. We could have solved this like we did now a long time ago. Not, don't wait till the last minute like I did. You can't sit at home and expect a, a Superman to take care of you. You have to get up and come. And that's what we did. And if we didn't get up and come, they'd be coming to get us out the house. I think the really urgent message the Treasury wants to convey is, if we get you in the door with making home affordable, your responsibility is to make sure that the documents that are needed are really produced timely. That's a really critical message for us. The Making Home Affordable program has given lenders the ability to modify your mortgage and to give you a more affordable monthly payment if you're struggling. The program is aimed at helping you and stabilizing the housing industry as a whole. We've talked to people who were literally hours away from having the sheriff put their furniture on the curb. They were that close to foreclosure, but in fact, when you assemble the right team of the homeowner, the counselor, and the servicer, it's possible to stop the foreclosure and to work out a modification or another kind of resolution. It's possible. So the government wants to help, but to qualify for the program, there are a few things you need to do. If you take charge of your situation, you could save your home, lower your mortgage payment, or at the very least, find relief from the enormous stress you're under right now. If you want to save something, if you want to save your, your home, if you want to save, then you have to put in a little effort. It was worth the paperwork, going through fax machines, going to get tax copies. It's worth it. Your first and most obvious step, you must reach out. You can call your lender directly. The number is in the statement you receive each month. You can visit makinghomeaffordable.gov or you can call the Homeowners Hope Hotline at 1-888-995-HOPE where a counselor can contact your lender or servicer for you or connect you with a housing counselor in your community. The second step is to ask them if you qualify for the Making Home Affordable program. Remember, the Making Home Affordable program is free. There are no upfront fees or service charges. You don't have to pay to find out if you qualify for the program or to benefit from it. If anyone asks you for money up front, it's most likely a scam. Working with your lender or a housing counselor, here's what you should do so the program can work for you. Start with the Request for Modification and Affidavit form. You can find this form at makinghomeaffordable.gov or by asking your lender or housing counselor for it and gather your tax return. One way to submit that is by completing the 4506T EZ form. This simply authorizes the IRS to release your recent tax return to your lender. They may also need copies of recent pay stubs. You can find a checklist of all that is required at makinghomeaffordable.gov. I made two copies of everything that I've ever sent them and I came down here with everything. It may take you sitting down at your kitchen table, filling out some applications and, and gathering some paperwork, getting your paycheck stubs, getting your tax returns. It may take some time, but at the end of the day, you've saved your home. I have practically everything you need in here. It's really important that you bring everything because that helps them improve the process. Gathering this paperwork and understanding your finances will pay off. You'll be on the road to a trial modification and real financial recovery. You'll be able to take a good look at your expenses, your lifestyle, and what's behind all the stress you're feeling. For most people, it's a huge weight lifted. I'm, I'm breathing now. It's like a big relief. I think I'm going to sleep a lot better tonight. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that I'm just glad I didn't give up on myself, too, and that people are still here to back me up. Well, the Making Home Affordable program can help, and it can help a lot of people. And uh, so what we need for people to do is to feel empowered, to take that next step, and to look at the program, see if they're eligible to apply. So you see, there is hope. People are standing by to hear your story and help you find a way through this crisis. It will take some effort on your part, but you are not alone. People just like you facing job loss or illness or other financial hardships are doing their part, reaching out taking control of their situations and their lives, and their efforts are paying off. 
So get up and get going. You deserve the same second chance. You should go out and do something and call your bank and just make a phone call. Once you show them that you're trying, they're going to help you, but you have to sh try first. And they will help. Unbelievable relief for me to be able to, to, to take a breath and realize that, you know, uh, uh, I don't have to sell the house. I don't have to lose the house. <laughs>